Throughout the University of Pittsburgh existence, it has attracted individuals with a pioneering spirit, coupled with a determination to push the boundaries of scholarship to confront the most urgent issues and problems of their times. Hi, I'm Rob Rutenbar, Pitt's Senior Vice Chancellor for Research, and today I'm honored to introduce one of those pathbreaking innovators, Eric Beckman, as the 2022 recipient of the Marlon Mickle Outstanding Innovator Award from the Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Dr. Beckman is Distinguished Service Professor and the George M. Bevere Professor of Engineering at the Swanson School of Engineering, where he's also Director Emeritus of the Mascaro Center for Sustainable Innovation. His three-decade track record as an inventor began with his prolific research that has resulted in more than 200 peer-reviewed journal articles, 26 book chapters, and receipt of 39 U.S. patents, with many more pending. But the numbers only begin to tell the story of the impact he is making through the translation of his work from the lab to the market. After a short stint in industry, Dr. Beckman hit the ground running upon arriving at Pitt, receiving a Young Investigator Award from the National Science Foundation in 1992. It didn't take long for him to demonstrate an entrepreneurial streak. In 1997, the university licensed his metal solvent extraction technology to a new startup, Normex Incorporated. Then, in 2005, North Haven Specialty Chemicals was founded based on his monomer and polymer discoveries. In 2006, he co-founded Cohera Medical around his discovery of a resorbable surgical adhesive. He subsequently took a brief entrepreneurial leave of absence at Pitt to serve as Cohera's chief science officer. The company's first product, Tissue Glue, was awarded the Edison Award Gold Medal in the category of surgical aids. One key way that Pitt innovators can achieve impact for their research is to collaborate with industry. In addition to the companies that he has founded, Dr. Beckman has worked effectively with several other companies, having co-authored patents with Lion Dell Chemical, Bayer Corp, PPG Incorporated, and BASF AG. He has also served as scientific advisor to several startups. As his role as a scientist and innovator flourished, so has his role as an educator, with a distinct focus on teaching the skills of innovation and entrepreneurship in addition to basic science. Within a decade of his arrival at Pitt, he was named chair of the Department of Chemical and Petroleum Engineering. Dr. Beckman took bold action in this role by applying for and receiving funding from the Heinz Endowments to create a sustainable entrepreneurship course. He followed that with a three-course innovation sequence, introduction to business principles, product design for chemical engineers, and chemical product prototyping. These courses have inspired numerous student startups at Pitt, including two recent winners of the $25,000 top prize of the Randall Family Big Idea Competition, the annual Student Innovation and Entrepreneurship Competition hosted by the Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship's Big Idea Center. Shortly after becoming department chair, Dr. Beckman co-founded the Mascaro Center for Sustainable Innovation with the mission of catalyzing sustainability innovation and education across the university and in the region. And now, Dr. Beckman has taken on the global problem of plastic waste. With a grant from the MacArthur Foundation and Nine Sigma, in collaboration with Think Beyond Plastic, he is leading a team to develop innovations that can be marketable at scale to reduce the amount of plastics that end up being burned or buried in landfills or make their way into the world's waterways and oceans. His team proposes using nanoengineering to alter the structure of polyethylene to create a recyclable material that can replace unrecyclable multi-layered packaging while providing the same freshness, UV light protection, and ability to hold inks for labeling that the multi-layer products provide. More recently, Dr. Beckman has been instrumental in establishing a new collaboration with Covestro LLC and the Mascaro Center, the Covestro Circular Economy Program represents the first graduate-level circular design academic program in the U.S. to specifically address the challenge of global waste and material use by designing sustainability into new products, from base materials and construction to packaging, delivery, and life expectancy. The program aims to create opportunities for the research, in education and innovative advancement of circular economy principles that begin with academia and fuel real-world solutions designed to save the planet. Among his many awards and honors are the 2002 Presidential Green Chemistry Award and three Carnegie Science Awards. Two are in the environmental category, awarded in 2004 and 2007, and one in the advanced materials category in 2012. Earlier this year, 
He was named a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors. And today, we add one more to his well-deserved list. Please join me in honoring Dr. Eric Beckman as the 2022 recipient of the Marlon Mickel Outstanding Innovator Award. Hello all, my thanks to the Innovation Institute for selecting me as the 2022 uh, Marlon Mickel Outstanding Innovator. Um, I was a colleague of Marlon for many years. He was really an inventor's inventor. He generated patents throughout his multi-decade career at Pitt. Uh, even after he retired, he was still creating inventions and generating patents. Many of these led to um, licenses and spin-out companies. Uh, long before this was common practice at Pitt, he was, Marlon was truly ahead of his time, and so it's, it's very nice to get an award that was named after him. Um, pursuing innovation um, and invention hasn't always been um, smooth at, at Pitt. It's not always been a straightforward path um, that the Innovation Institute has created over the past decade. Um, back in the day, there were a lot of obstacles uh, in the pursuit of translational science, of, of doing things that led to inventions and ultimately innovations. Um, so I have to thank my, my former dean, uh, Jerry Holder, for always supporting my forays into innovation. No matter how dubious they may have seemed to him at the time, he was always there and had my back. Um, Jerry was a no-nonsense kind of dean, um, but now and then he could surprise you by uh, supporting what seemed even to me sometimes as crazy ideas. Um, but, but Jerry, again, was a, was a true supporter and, um, and was very helpful when I needed him. Case in point, um, almost 20 years ago, um, I developed a, a potentially useful internal surgical adhesive in my lab. Um, we needed time and space to, to help grow the uh, associated startup company, Cohera, and Jerry allowed me to take a two-year leave of absence, um, even though no one in the School of Engineering had ever taken an entrepreneurial leave before. Um, Jerry allowed me to take the leap into the unknown, and, and I'll be forever grateful for it, uh, to him for that. Uh, Cohera couldn't have happened without um, an incredible team of employees there. Truly one of the, the most impressive teams I've ever worked with. Some of them were, were Pitt alums, former undergraduates who I had had in class, and then watching them blossom as innovators was, was wonderful. It was amazing and mildly terrifying uh, watching surgeons take something that had started out as an interesting goo in a flask in my lab and put it into patients. It was gratifying to hear patients actually thank me for my science. I'm an engineer and no one has ever thanked me for my science before and, and so this was, was kind of remarkable. It's been a pleasure to watch um, how Chancellor Gallagher, since he arrived in 2014, has worked to create a welcoming environment for innovation at, at Pitt. The innovation environment now is, is positively unrecognizable um, from that when I first arrived in 1989, and that's a very good thing, and, and I very much appreciate what the Chancellor has done. Pitt continues to build a culture of innovation, thanks to, to people like Pat, Rob Rutenbar, Evan Thatcher, and, and a whole host of other people who have, have been very supportive of, of um, making Pitt not just a research powerhouse, but an innovation powerhouse as well. I've been fortunate while at Pitt to have some, some really great mentors in the uh, in the realm of innovation. Uh, one who altered my career path in ways that I never could have imagined was, was the late Jack Mascaro. Um, in 2003, Jack pushed, Jack always pushes, or always pushed, he was, he was great at that. He pushed me to go beyond what I would call my scientific comfort zone of green chemistry to embrace a much broader topic, that being sustainability. Um, I had no formal training in sustainability. I wasn't even clear as to what it was, but, but Jack, the consummate innovator, um, saw it as the future of all engineering, and it turns out he was right. Um, Jack underwrote the Mascaro Center for Sustainable Innovation, which for almost the past 20 years has served as a nexus for sustainability research, education, and outreach at Pitt. Um, driven by the force of nature, that was Jack, um, and strong support from former Provost Beeson and current Provost Ann Cudd, um, MCSI has been able to do an awful lot in, in the area of sustainability with a small but quite marvelous staff. My colleagues Gina Kowalczyk, Melissa Billick, 
David Sanchez and Ellie Caden. Um, I can't thank Jack and his, his family enough for decades of support for what we're trying to do with sustainability. Helping to build MCSI has been truly a joy and, and one of the highlights of, of my innovation career. Of late, really recent times, I've devoted most of my entrepreneurial energy to trying to prep the next generation of innovators. And I'm very grateful to the chemical engineering department for allowing me to create our product innovation sequence, which is a series of courses designed to, to teach chemical engineering undergrads how to be product designers and innovators. Um, fewer than one in seven chemical engineering departments even offers a single course in product design. So I'm, I'm quite grateful to, to the chemical engineering department for allowing me to once again go out on a limb with something that, that uh, most departments don't do. Um, teaching students how to think and act like innovators is, is a challenge and can drive you absolutely bonkers at times. But the payoff is seeing their success. Um, watching former students like Emily Siegel, who's co-founder of Trek Gum, and Blake Dubay, co-founder of Aeronics and Pawprint Oxygen, watching them succeed in the marketplace is, is, is a delight. Last but not least, these decades of, of success and failure, sacrifice and fun, could not have been possible without the love of my wife, Joanne, and the kids, Ariane and Austin. They're always my foundation and my sounding board. Thank you again, Pitt, for, um, and the Innovation Institute, uh, for this honor and, and for creating an entrepreneurial sandbox where anyone can play. And I think that's fabulous. Hail to Pitt and rock on.